Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the third video in my Python programming tutorial series. Um, today we're going to be talking about something called conditions. So I hope you remember from the other videos, we talked about input, printing, we did variables, data types, and then we talked about operators. So operators like plus, minus, um, division, integer division, modulus, right? Uh, multiplication, all those operators. Today we're going to be talking about a few more operators and then getting into conditions. So here in my file right here, um, I've put down four basic comparison operators. So pretty much a comparison is something that's going to return a value of true or false. So here we have, um, let's say of a real world example, is Tim equal to Joe? Well, no, they're not, because Tim obviously is spelled differently than Joe, so that's going to be giving us a value of false. Um, same thing if we want to go into numbers, if we say is 18 is greater than 2. Well, is that true? Yes, it is. So that condition gives us a value of true. Uh, it's a very simple concept, but it's something that we have to understand as we go into decisions later on, which will be in the next video. Okay, so these comparison operators, I'll read them off and just kind of give a definition of each of them. So the first one, it can either be a less than or a greater than sign? Uh, same thing with the second one, right? So it's just going to compare if something's less than, greater than. Um, usually these are used for integer values, um, that data type. Uh, we also can use them for strings, but it's a little more complex, and I'm not going to get into that right now, maybe in a more advanced tutorial later on. Now the equivalent operator, so the equal sign here. Now, a lot of people think, well, if I'm comparing something, why wouldn't I just use one equal sign like this? Well, that's a very good question, and a lot of people get mixed up on this. It is actually two equal signs. That's because in Python, um, the one equal sign is a declaration um, declaration operator. So for example, if I put a variable x, and I want to set it equal to 4, right? Um, this is what we do with the one equal sign. We're setting values, right? So when we did name is equal to Tim, things like that, we're using one equal sign. Now, if we're going to check something, we're going to compare them, we have to use two because two equal signs and one equal sign have a very different meaning. So it's important to keep that in mind that the comparison operator for equivalency is two equal signs. Okay, the next one is not equal to. Um, so we have an exclamation mark and then we have the equal sign like this, okay? So an example of not equal to, because some people may get confused here, is say if 4 not equal to 5. Oops, what did I type there? <laughs> not equal to 5. Okay, so what do you think this would give us? Just think about it for a second. Well, what it's actually going to return to us is true, because the condition is if 4 is not equal to 5. And here we can see obviously 4 is not equal to 5. So now again if I give another example we put 5 here we say 5 not equal to 5. Well that would return a value of false because 5 is indeed equal to 5. Now we can do the same thing with strings so if, for example we have hello oops spelled incorrectly there we go and Tim. Uh, now you can probably guess by yourself that this is going to return true because Tim is indeed not equal to hello. Okay, uh, it's pretty straightforward, um, but a lot of people may get mixed up with the not equal to if it's returning true or false. Okay, so those are the four basic comparison operators that we're going to use. So we have equal to, uh, not equal to, and then greater than and less than. So greater than and less than, again, we use for numbers. So one less than two, again, that's going to return true like that okay so now um, we're gonna start printing from some things to the console and maybe doing a little bit of a quiz here um, just to see how you guys are gonna do so a boolean condition I'm gonna store it in a variable so I'm gonna say name uh, oops actually we're not gonna do that we're just gonna print to the console two less than three okay now you guys guess and uh, tell me what you think is gonna be returned to the console uh, it's either going to be true or false. I'll give you a hint right now. Now it gives us a value of true. That's because this condition, 2 is less than 3, um, is true. It's equal to 3, right? Um, so now if we switch the sign and we make it greater than, like that, well, you can guess what's going to come up. 
So we click enter and we get false. That's because this condition returns a value of false. Okay, now we'll do another condition here, all right? Um, hello equal to hello, okay? Um, and guess yourself what this one's gonna return? False, okay? That's because they are spelt differently. Um, now we're gonna do the not equal sign just to show that one as well. Hello, not equal to hello, and we'll see that gives us true because they are not the same. Um, fairly straightforward, but a lot of people do get these things mixed up. Now I'll show you what happens when I try to just do one equal sign like this. See, we get keyword can't be an expression. That's because we're trying to declare a variable here, but we cannot do that, okay? Because we're just using one equal sign here, we need to use two, all right? Okay, so now let's try another example, maybe a more advanced one. Uh, this is a little bit of a trick, okay? I want to see if you guys remember from my last tutorial what I talked about. So take a guess right now what you think is going to be returned. Do you think it's going to be true or do you think it's going to be false? Well, it was false, okay? Um, that's because, again, what we talked about in Python, um, capitals matter, right? So any capital letter is different than a lowercase letter. So something like this... Um, yeah, it's going to return false, all right? It's important to understand that. Okay, so we've very briefly uh, gone into conditions now. Um, I'm going to write a few on the side here. You guys can go ahead, um, I'll put them in print statements, and test yourself and see if you get them right or not, okay? I'm going to add a few tricks from the other lesson, um, try to kind of apply some of our knowledge, and see if we can get them correct, okay? So just give me a minute here. I'm just going to write a few out. And then we'll go through the answers afterwards. Okay, so you know what? We'll just, we'll just do these ones for right now, and we'll do a few other examples. Okay, so these are a little more advanced than what I was talking about before, but they are conditions. We have a left side of the condition, and we have a right side of the condition. So I hope you've taken a guess now of what you think these are going to be, because I'm about to print out the answer right now. Okay, so we've gone true, false, and false. All right, so for the first one, two less than three, that's an example I already gave. That gives us a value of true because that condition is true. Uh, now we have two minus three plus four greater than five. Um, so you can do the math there and see that that is going to be false. And then this one, some people may have gotten a little bit, of, a little bit confused on because I actually used the words false and true in my condition that's going to return false or true. So I have print false equals equals true. Well, is false the same thing as true? No, it's not. So obviously we are going to be returned with the value false. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about conditions now. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be doing something called decision. So I'll give you a sneak peek on what that is. Something like this, okay? So stay tuned for that. Um, the next episode should be up tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, like and subscribe. And yeah, share with your friends. Thanks.